Hello and welcome. Let's welcome in uh, the management at Aptech now. Dr. Anil Pant, MD and CEO at Aptech is uh, with us. They declared their numbers last week. So what led to the performance on profit front? A sharp jump in profits in QOQ basis to 7.2 crores versus about 2 crores QOQ this is despite revenue growth being largely stable. What helped the margins? Two things. Uh, the revenue mix in Q3 has been more from the retail business. The institutional business has come down by about 10% uh, quarter on quarter, but the retail business has grown by almost about 30% sequentially. And uh, because of that revenue mix, you know, the profits have uh, gone up substantially. The margins have gone up from uh, about 38% levels to about 47% in Q3. So you mentioned that retail business has done well, growing 30% QOQ and overall margins having expanded. However, a few quarters back, domestic retail business was facing challenges. So what has changed? Uh, very happy to share with you that in Q3, the retail domestic retail business came to about 70% of last year's numbers. But what is even more exciting is that in the month of December, it had climbed to about 83% and January it had gone up by another two percentage points. So we will probably be able to normalize maybe a little bit faster than uh, FI22, maybe in uh, Q1 of FI22 itself. Now, uh, so I, I think that's a very, very strong signal for uh, you know, you know, our uh, business. The other important thing that has happened is that uh, we've actually added about close to 48 centers in Q3, in Q2 and Q3 in six months. Uh, this has, uh, this has almost come to a standstill in uh, Q4 and Q1. So the network expansion will also lead to significant growth in upcoming quarters. Okay. Uh, Dr. Pant, your enterprise business has declined in the last two years, achieved break-even in Q2 last quarter. How has the performance been in Q3 so far? Are we still expecting, um, uh, you know, over 3x growth in the enterprise business? Is it feasible? So, uh, like I had shared the last time when I was on the program, the enterprise business has actually, uh, uh, it, it's on a turnaround mode. I mean, you know, we've already hit our nadir, and now it's on an upswing. Now, whether it is 2x, whether it is 3x, whatever, I mean, anything that it adds is uh, margin accretive. And my belief is that this business is going to surprise us uh, in, in probably Q4. So overall, if we have to look at Aptech for the next one, two years, what kind of growth and profits can we expect? Which segments, retail, global business, enterprise will contribute the most? So if you look at the uh, retail business, right? And, and here I'm referring to the global retail business when we have a presence in about 38 countries. Uh, the overall mix, we should be able to grow this by about 30, 35% uh, reasonably comfortably in terms of revenues. And uh, since this business is a asset light model, the operating leverage on margins is extremely high. So margins could go in excess of about 43-44% in terms of EBITDA. Post-COVID opportunity has only been increasing, sir, in the edutech space. How do you plan to tap this opportunity in the education sector uh, leading from digital? Uh, very happy to share our numbers on this. You know, during the lockdown, we have delivered more than uh, 3 million hours of student learning online. This has been supported by 600,000 live hours of uh, tutor-led training. We've, uh, almost all our uh, student recruitment or the student edition has been digital. We've, we've acquired almost about 19,000 students in India and about 32,000 students uh, uh, internationally. Uh, in India, we've placed more than 3,500 students uh, digitally and uh, the interesting thing is that while people keep talking about, uh, you know, people losing jobs during COVID, uh, we actually have a situation where there are more number of jobs than we have students at present. And this has resulted in a salary increase from about uh, 23,000 rupees per month levels to about 27,000 rupees per month 
for uh, students passing out of our centers, especially in the media and entertainment space. Apart from the media space, which sectors are you seeing traction in terms of job demand across verticals? So one of the things which uh, people don't realize is that, uh, you, you know, everybody keeps talking about machine learning, AI, uh, you know, you know, big data. The fact remains that there are huge number of jobs in even basic skills like C++. Because while everybody talks about these new age skills, with the advent of Internet of Things, machine language becomes a very, very important skill to have. This is not to say that uh, the new age skills are not important. They are important. But the large number of jobs are there in Java, they are there in .NET, they are there in C++. And in these spaces, we are the market leaders globally. So, uh, for example, in places like Vietnam, our business is growing 90% literally year on year in terms of bookings. And uh, predominantly led by information technology. The other space which is extremely exciting is the beauty space. Now here, we've already crossed last year's levels in terms of booking in quarter three and, and crossed them by a very substantial number. And uh, the, the kind of job opportunities that exist here, whether it is placement and salons, whether it is the gig economy itself calling, is tremendously large. Just to give you an example, the US is an $18 billion uh, beauty training industry. And in India, we've not even sort of uh, touched the tip of it. What are the plans for the international and export markets? You know, the last time you had said that the focus will be on four key markets, Vietnam, Nigeria, Egypt, and Qatar. So share the plan here and, you know, what will be its contribution to revenues, profits over the next few years? So these four regions would uh, probably constitute about uh, 87, 88% in terms of revenues and about 92, 93% in terms of profit uh, globally. And, and the business is growing at almost about 30, 35% uh, year on year. Okay, Mr. Pant, uh, we let you go on that note. Thank you so much for joining us today then uh, on ET Now and just sharing with us um, the overall view for Amt.